no jumper and we're back with another one the coolest podcast in the world and today we're on melrose 7665 melrose with a shy town legend memo 600 in the building go are y'all above a photo pull the mic in a little bit more and uh of course i got my co-host remo 600 remo 600 is crazy you bro. like that i've been thinking about that all day <laughs> it's a little rhyming joke and uh introduce us to your homie here start money yeah, this is my artist, man. Stop money, man. Fresh out of Jolly, y'all know what's going on, man. Okay, let's get it. So you want to go back all the way to the beginning? Tell us how you're coming. Man, they know how I'm coming already, man. That's what you want to know. <laughs> well, like, I, I think like you the new one. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. The one trying to get up on me. Well, if you want to interview me, that could be discussed. But uh, <laughs> we got to start with the the early days of Mimo. Where, where exactly did you grow up, and what what was life like? Uh, yeah, I grew up in the projects on 49th Estate. Then we moved over east, then from over east to the hundreds, from the hundreds to six hundred. Right. And what were your parents like? Well, my parents was cool as hell. We close as hell still to this day. Right. So your 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 mom and your dad were both around? Yeah. Yeah. What what'd your dad do? <laughs> Street. Really? <laughs> yeah. What kind? Come on, man. <laughs> hustler. My pops was a hustler. Okay. What kind of hustling? Like, did you observe it when you were like real, real yeah, young? He sold socks and towels. Socks and towels. He never uh, graduated to anything else. Yeah, he graduated school. <laughs> he said, "What else?" <laughs> okay. Uh, what was your mom like? Yeah, my OG was cool. She always had a job, man. Mm hmm. Nice. So, uh, what what kind of kid were you? Like, what, what were you drawn to at a young age? Shit, I was cool. I just, I like. Uh, Hanging outside with my friends a lot. Of what else? Rapping. I just started that rapping though, so like five years ago. So you weren't interested in that when you were younger? Yeah, no, I was just like outside. Being a badass little kid. We gotta pull the <laughs> mic in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, you know, out. Um, so you're a bad kid. What what kind of shit are you getting into? I was cool, just like throwing rocks and shit at cars shit like that. You know. Just Playing random cars. Ding dong ditch, knocking on doors, running. The Ding dong dish was a classic. I was gonna say you might not know about that. Oh no, all about that. You, we used to do it and leave a, a bag of flaming dog poop. Who? Oh no. Oh, p magazine. I'm out shooting flaming in the dog or p magazine. A flaming or... bag of dog. What, what That's you mean a freak by flaming bag of dog. You take a bag, you put dog shit or human shit, whatever you got, and then you light it on fire, ring the doorbell, run across the street, and then you watch as they come out and they see the, the bag of flaming dog. It's stinky as hell. And then they got to stomp on it to put it out. <laughs> they get shit all over their shoes. That sounds That's like premeditated and freaky. Yeah, That's I ain't true. never did a dog. Shit, but I seen weird. people do it before. Really? We'll no. throw rocks and shit. He said, he, car windows, he said porn oh. magazine. That might be worse. Yeah, really, I don't nah, want to surprise somebody weird. with a magazine. That would be kind of. I'm just kidding. What if they're not into it? <laughs> you is a freak, I heard. I don't know. What do you mean? You been grew up. I heard you be doing a lot of OnlyFans and shit. That's you? true. I got a podcast where we. Interview a girl and then f her afterwards every week. How you feel about that? I'm decent. Onlyplugtalk.com. How would you feel if like one of your ex girlfriends ended up on there? That's they business. <laughs> Ain't got to do with me. That wouldn't be upsetting. No, nah, why would it be? What if you still had a little bit of feelings towards her? I ain't got no feelings for no exes. Really? Just straight cut off. You think you could date a star? <laughs> mm -mm. How do you do it? I'm a legend. You was a little freaky little boy. It's not for mere mortals. How you look? How do you look at your wife the same after like allowing her to do that? Let crease I, <laughs> we did it together just the other day. It was a great time. Yeah, I know, but how do you look at her the same? Like, how do you get? How do you still value her the same though? She a little hustler. Oh, okay. You know, I look, I look at it as we're getting over. Getting over what? <laughs> On everybody. By permission. Huh? I mean, we're just making money, having a good time, doing some freaky shit that we might not do otherwise. So y'all prostitutes, basically. I feel like we're more artists, creating we content and it. selling it to the world. It, but y'all prostitutes or escorts if y'all making money. I mean, escorting takes place in private. Yeah. What you Stars make outside? films. Oh, yeah, y'all. No, because, so okay, it's about who's right paying for it. Because if you have sex with someone and they give you money, then you're a prostitute. 
if you have sex with somebody and then you sell it to the world and that's how you make money from it, then you're sure. What's the end goal, though? Do you have an end goal, like a limit, or oh, is it just oh, forever? Probably just retire, uh, chill yeah, out on I'm the free beach free. and shit. I like the beach. I'd probably just like be like a 55 year old dude just chilling on the beach. What do you think you're going to be doing when you're 55? I don't know. I just want to see be my kids. I'm somewhere kids. rich, chilling, watching my kids. Rich as hell, seeing yeah. my kids' kids. That's how. 55. Mm. That's. Yeah, hopefully, I won't have to do p anymore at 55. Ski. Ski. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So. Uh, where should we go from here? We already got yeah, to. So. He likes to be outside. I like to be yeah, outside. He's from six hundred. So, uh, Steve, your little brother. That was your older brother. My oh, little brother. I'm that five years old. All right. So, what was Steve influence? Because it seemed like everybody always big up. You know, they named Steve Drive. Like, how did Steve get so much clout within the the block? Being outside. No problem. No, he was a cool kid though. You know, everybody loved him. He was, you know, not just no little street. You know. Yeah. Kind hearted, you know, adults, just respectful, you know, still street at the same time. So. Who was like his like major friend group at the time? Like who was really Steve hanging out with? Rondo, Lil D, Blast, Face, um, around that crowd. So you always just drawn to the street type shit? Like it was obvious to you that you were gonna, because you, even your early memories, it seems like you're talking about a lot of Chicago legends. You just always around that element. Yeah, I always, cause I know a lot of people. So we I showed you we ne we lived there well. So yeah, well we moved around. We was outside, so we bumped into a lot of people. So a lot of people knew us. My OG got like two boys, two girls. So everybody know who he is already. So what kind of memories you got of Rondo? You mentioned him earlier. Did a lot, man. A lot. Just the smiles, though. A lot. Of, mostly the smiles. You and uh, you were staying on Steve Drive at the same time. Well, mm -hmm. you stand, y'all staying there at the same time. We I actually seen... stayed on Front Street though, on 61st in uh, Michigan. I stayed next door to uh, Keith Sosa. Yeah, cause she Keith on Front Street too, right? Yeah, I used to live next door to him. You was in she Keith videos early on too, right? Yeah. So he how come you never? Yeah, what video was it? Cause I think I seen was that it uh, Love Sosa? That three three hundred video. All right, I seen you in the back. So how come you never thought about rapping back then? So you was around it. Cause when I was a shorty, I like, you know, back when I, back when I was a shorty, they had tape recorders, you could record yourself. I recorded myself one day, I sounded so goofy. I ain't never in my life tried to rap again. <laughs> I swear to God, I said, boy, that's how I really sound. You ain't never heard yourself and be like, that's how I sound. Right. I'm hell no, I never tried to. You were just kind of rapping like everybody else or did you have your own no, thing just my, I was a kid, like, you know. Back when the karaoke I went to jail though, I was in that, I was listening to a lot of motherfuckers. Rap like Bobby Smurda, Future, uh, Drake, Dirk, Breezy, my homie 600 Breezy. It was a lot of motherfuckers that inspired me though to rap though. Cause I ain't had no, I'm damn, they out here turned this what they listen to, this what they doing, like, you know? Yeah. I got out, I just got to, you know? Definitely. What was, uh, what was it like seeing Sosa blow up and Chicago change so much from there? It just put a chill through a body at a time, you know? Like, if he could do it, we could do it. Well, you know, the next month. Definitely. Like watching the motherfuckers, like watch him, bro. Watch you, bro. Watch you, you know? Motivation. Motivation, I'm still. So then when was the day when you was like, all right, and I'm gonna I'm really do it? Cause you said five years ago. Yeah, I had got out of jail, man. I was hanging with my, one of my homies. They was rapping. I was with uh, one of my homies, but his cameraman, uh, two four D.I.B. Films. He like, man, you Mimo. Cause I used to always go live and shit with the ops, tweaking with the ops and shit. Well, I had a lot of viewers and followers and shit. He like, man, you doing all the hot Turn that into some money, ooh, start rapping. I laughed at him, I remember that time when I tried to record myself. Yeah. He, man, just do it, I played in the booth, bro. I, that shit, I came up with that Steppers. That was and the first song you recorded? No, nah, uh, I did like two songs before that, but what was it? That exposed me, that exposed me and something else. So Expose Me, one of the first songs, yeah, that, that's crazy. Yeah, Expose Me and uh, Chop Again. Yeah. What, what motivated you to want to put that shit out? We got some chips coming in here. Shit, he did, really. You <laughs> said he did? Yeah, I had to get my boy on. Oh, we got the Boosie chips, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I thought he had a yeah. rap snacks deal. 
Is that what that is, or is that a different flavor? Yeah, that's rap snacks. Yeah. Oh, that's a rap snacks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you said he inspired you. No, nah, my homie, uh, two photo the cameraman. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. All right. So, so you said exposed me one of the first songs that you yeah, did. Yeah, exposed me. Uh, what else? That shit with blow, just blow, game banger. Oh. Uh, all right. So let's talk about the exposed me joint. Cause uh, I was in the crib with my little sister one day. I was just smoking, three in the morning. And I was just writing. Some yeah. And that's a, and then you told King Von to hop on it. Yeah, yeah. he put everybody to the side. He was tweaking with everybody. Like, man, I gotta get this out the way. Ooh. He did that. Shit. Then he did a uh, crazy story, and I did steps, and we both just went on from there. In the same night? No, around oh. the same time though. Okay. What? Uh, oh no, I got more yeah. questions about the exposing. No, yeah, let's stay on that. So like, uh, where did you find the beat? Uh. What did I, get from? I think YouTube, and <laughs> I contacted the dude. First of all, I did the beat, and he contacted me. Hey, man, I'm a big fan. Ooh, ooh. Then from now on, we locked in. Because you know, the Expose Me beat is the same beat that CJ used for Whoopty and shit. And then CJ ended up getting y'all song taken down. How yeah. did that even happen? I don't if know, he was I in FaceTime him, though. He, he, uh, he say, man, I ain't even know that. Because they say, like, from their label, that's the reason why I was struck down. Yeah. He man, I'm a contact him. Ooh, he ain't never get back at me. That's crazy. Cause you got good, like you you seen that good beast. I still be hitting them up, trying to get that on all platforms. And shit. Oh, so you can't put it anywhere besides YouTube. I only yeah. have to listen to it on. And YouTube. I ain't got it up though. Other people. Got Other it. people re-uploaded it. Yeah. Damn. So you respect CJ, or or you just feel like he's fucked up for that? No, I don't, it don't really matter to me. Though, you know. How did you feel when you heard Duck and uh, Ruger remix it? I really don't be too much can for that type of shit. Yeah. So what, you won't listen to anybody's music that you don't get along with, even if it's over your beat? Yeah, I will. But I don't, it don't bother me. Though. But you heard the song, though, at least. Yeah. You think that it is on it? Because that's one thing everybody was they trying to see who had the better exposure really, me. To me, I can't say, because it's like they dissing my homie, so yeah. I can't even sit there and listen to it, like vibe right. out to it. Like, listen to him say, I feel that, but don't you feel like y'all was dissing? Well, Vaughn, at least, and his song was kind of dissing first, so like that's why they probably wanted to strike back. And that's what it is. Wow, yeah. You got like super good beat selection because, like, even the Expose Me beat CJ took, then Ruger and them hopped on, and then even Blazing Doll stole your beat recently, too, with the Missy Elliott joint. What's that? Uh she, Nobody's property. Nobody's property. So where was you at? Cause I ain't like that's one of my favorite songs. Like at the old drill, like that shit go crazy. So like, yeah. where you be? Like you just go on YouTube and find beats? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Where you find that nobody's property beat at? Uh, I locked in with the producer. And how the hell Blazers? Nah, just get the same beat. The beats be on. He be making beats on YouTube. Go, he a big producer on YouTube. All right. So, so he just uploaded the beat after yeah, the fact. Yeah. But I had to have a talk with him, like, look, ooh. So you're not going to pull the CJ move and get her shit taken down? Hell yeah. <laughs> Somebody got it took down. It wasn't me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't play that shit because I know how that shit feel. Like, you know, <laughs> on Steve, I don't even play like that. Right. It is what it is. Get your money. Do your little thing. Get your oh, little bro. recognition. Yeah, yeah, I told her, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you know Blazing Dog? What's your relationship with Blazing Dog? She cool. I know. <laughs> I mean, for a while, the conversation we kept having with everybody was like, Blazing Doll's dating somebody that is from an op neighborhood. But then apparently she set him up to get backdoored. Do we believe this? Is this real? I seen mad media people post it. They said that he had posted it on his shit, but by the time I seen it, I didn't see it on his page where he said that she tried to backdoor him. But a lot of people running with the fact that she did. But I don't And part of it I saw, too, is that he has mad old tweets where he's dissing her mom. Nah, the tweets is real. I didn't yeah. see the tweets. Nah, that's why they broke that's up, crazy. though, for sure. I'll be mad at my business, man. I'm still tell them <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> I'll yeah. be high strolling right past that type of shit. For yeah. real? I can't imagine I'm that. I'm big dog, gang. I'm, I'm calm calm big dog, that. gang. We, we all pay attention to the Chicago to soap that's opera, but you're actually me. from there. I would think you'd be man. more invested. They kids to me, gang. I'm grown as hell. They, they cool, but they kids, gang. I'll stroll right past that shit. 
Yeah. I'm on big and better shit. That's their relationship. They like, I, I, I hope they work it out, get back together. So, yeah. What if she backdoored them? She, then they probably shouldn't get back together. Right? How you feel about ops? He be throwing them. How you feel <laughs> about like uh, people dating somebody that's like from an op hood anyway, like just in general? Would you do it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or have I you done it before? I do love and make you do anything. Yeah. I don't know what you do. You never you've been in that kind of love? I would know op hoes. No. <laughs> you wouldn't even let yourself get to that point? No. What if you're with a girl for six months and then she confesses that she's from a neighborhood that you don't get along with? I ain't going like that. She I'm, wouldn't be able to pull the wool over your background eyes? background from six years before. I know before you even think you could tell. I mean, you don't really seem like you could trust a girl like that in general. I'm going to be real. Like who? I just don't see you as being no, the I, kind the guy that could really open up to a girl. It feels like it would be hard to penetrate this tough exterior that you got. What kind of girl I look like I, I did? Listen, you tell me. I don't know. No, I'm cool. I do. I like mm, pretty. My girl bad. Though. How long you been with your girl? Uh, like three months. Now. Three months. Does that count? Is that a real relationship after three months? Um, yeah. You could fall in love in two days. Depends at what speed you're moving to, you know? Okay. All right, so yeah, we was talking about the Exposing Me song and how Vaughn hopped on it. What was your uh, friendship with Vaughn? Like, y'all was in tune before he got out of jail? Mm-hmm. Y'all, yeah. Like, Ben had a friendship? Yeah, he used to be on our block a lot. Yeah. Seemed like everybody was, like, rotating in and out of, like, 600, from old block to 600. It was a lot of fun, though. We just uh, we just had a lot. We just used to have fun, that's all. You know? yeah. Who was your main loving? crowd from 600? Because I always see you, like, just blow. Hold on. I always seen you. <laughs> Half my crowd don't play camera on photo. Mm-hmm. You see yeah. him, he don't play that shit. This is COVID mask. Half <laughs> my crowd don't play. Blow though, you know, C Day, Nine, who else? Bite Down, Mac, Wu Thang. Cat, I always see you Cap. with Cat. Yeah, yeah. Of them. I'm My crowd, half my crowd don't play the camera though. Yeah. Striker. Especially Strike. Folks don't play that camera. <laughs> Yeah. Is there a part of you that wanted to be that kind of person and be off camera, or do you always think you were going to be I more public? To. I used to. I used to like that. So I used to stay away from it. Then I start. When Sosa started rapping, I got to getting in the cameras and that shit. Got to getting fun because he was making making music fun, you know? Yeah. Like, so. But you yeah. always be like dancing and shit. E-day I like too, the star though. power. E-day. I'm still cool. My brother. So. They inspired me to rap a lot, folks. So they changed this shit, though. Because E-Day was one of the first people rapping for 600, right? E-Day and Duck started drill rapping in Chicago, gang. <laughs> and you say that because of the E-Day, why are you God, serious no. this song? I swear they to they God, did, God on my kids. <laughs> they did. They started, they Pac-Man were... started the world drill. <laughs> Duck and uh, E-Day. 100%. Sure. Yeah. But they started the drill rapping against each other and all that beef. And they that's when this. Duck and E-Day was dissing. Yeah, I don't know who recorded Duck, it first, but Duck dropped the E-Day, is you yeah, serious? Yeah, E-Day yeah, got the other side, them. and they and, dropped the E-Day, is you serious? All right, so E-Day dropped. Them. And that, you feel like that was really started the, the war that's going on right now, the beef in Chicago, like the real drill. It's like, For sure. So at that time, like, how was it? Because, like, maybe E-Day and Duck was into it, but not everybody else probably had the same feelings. Y'all just probably got forced into that shit? Or nah, was y'all all not like, with Duck? No, nah, that's... It wasn't no, it wasn't no not f- with Duck, no. Like, what, what they was cool, beef cool. like? It wasn't no beef, it was like petty. some music, f- entertainment gang, yeah. all the f- entertainment gang. Some petty shit? It wasn't no beef, yeah, it wasn't no beef. That shit, all entertainment, they make good music, we make good music, we gonna rap about it against it. It mm-hmm. ain't no beef, no nothing. Because at the time, it was young, in like high school, exactly. and shit, right? You know? So it'd be like, they be saying, because the Trenches News said that. Who? The Trenches News dude that be making all the YouTube videos covering Chicago. I know you probably seen. He just testified in the uh, duck case. He got the mask. All over the world. Never in my life seen a herd. Do not believe either. Everybody start putting them on the internet, gang. I don't even know what the. That is. Yeah. I never heard. You've never so, seen his channel? He makes videos. No, I don't watch. I don't. His interview with us was no pretty offense, good. No offense. I hated this type of shit, gang. Like literally, like blogs and put. Cause y'all, not y'all, but they <sighs> put shit on people that. How do y'all know all this? We give y'all certain shit, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. How could we say it? Oh, y'all say this, but ooh, yeah. we do give y'all shit. We post and say it. Majority do. of this shit 
it's, majority, but not a hundred percent, bro. That's yeah. why, I, you know, how yeah. could you post some shit about a motherfucker that you don't really know, you know? Right. It's a nigga much. Trenches News claim like that he was assumption. hanging amongst y'all niggas. And you could, you could say that. You could say that. You say could put what? on a ski mask right now and say you been at Old Block or you been on 600. You know all this. We said this around you. Lying you. like a monster. We don't fucking know you. Who the but fuck But a lot of people know dude? who he Some is, Some niggas right? vouch from him from 63rd, though. They didn't say uh, Well, 63rd. That's 63rd, not 64th. And I don't no, know but, but just in know. general, it's just to say fuck that, that he actually yeah, from Chicago. He ain't just lying. I don't know, gang. I don't know, Yeah, but you saying you don't know. No. But what he did say, though, the reason I even brought his name up, he said that a girl started the whole shit. You know how you said the E-Day? Is you serious? He said there's a chick that he, is, he blames responsibility for the whole shit that go, that's going on. I don't on even know him. I don't know. We rappers, gang. This shit all entertainment, like I said. One no yeah. beef. That's why I said I don't even know who the fuck that is. Have you even heard of deals like the one that he apparently has where, like, he's getting paid, like, legitimate amounts of money, 25 grand at a time, to talk about cases that he doesn't have anything to do with he just is able to like look at it and point out people on camera and say this is this is this person or this person just because he's been in Chicago. Like he's basically just an expert witness, even though he doesn't have any actual familiarity with the murder that they're talking about. Never even heard of. Oh, it. Steve, I don't Talk know. Yeah, yeah I don't we know. can't even speak on nobody that we don't know. Oh, like, like he is YouTuber, we artists, bro. We don't <laughs> know none of that. <laughs> we ain't know none of that. We ain't know none of that. Yeah, we don't know nothing about dude. We don't know none of yeah, that. Yeah, though, I don't know though. I don't know. The line between YouTuber and artist is pretty thin at this point though. Yeah, I don't know. Two different two different careers. Yeah, I ain't saying going yet, on. so how y'all feel about all the uh, Chicago people turning into like YouTubers and shit? Like a lot of people from Chicago. That's they cool. They making a way. They making money. That's where a lot of the money at though too though. Like streaming and all that shit. Would you ever think you'll start like nope. doing the stream shit? Never. Somebody just asked me the who. Oh no. Yesterday. I said, hell. That'd be crazy though. No, I think home. you should. You be fucking with the clubhouse shit. Sometime. That's cool, cause I them people I know, like Chicago, like you know, yeah. all the extra people chiming in. I hate when they be coming in with they look. But half of them people on there I be talking to, I know these people game. Like, yeah. I can't duck where I came from, like, you know. Yeah, you be getting arguments and shit on uh, Clubhouse yeah, a lot, too. I get arguments in real life, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, yeah just but I'm just clubhouse. saying, the Clubhouse, <laughs> the clubhouse really just make it where everybody, it seems like yeah. everybody getting the Clubhouse get the arguments. Because y'all can hit me. I'm funny. But not even just you. For like, Clubhouse is just a place where everybody just argue back and forth. Not even just you specifically. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that bitch be going up. That's because I be, I don't know, I like to have fun, so I be on there really just trolling a lot. Just bars that motherfucker. Y'all be on club. I was listening to what he be saying. Yeah, I'll see a re-upload once in a while. Emo, for sure. I'll be, I'll be tapping in with what bro got going on. So I'll be seeing all the shit that be... I seen you and Varney got into a situation on there one time. Varney, my peoples, man. He cool, bro. Get it to it with your people sometime, right? Who are my people? I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Just type shit. Yeah. Right. entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. it but, uh, all right. So what's the situation? Because Wack 100 was supposed to... Because Wack be on Clubhouse. He was supposed to manage you or some shit? Yeah, I had asked him, I had uh, called him about, you know, checking into it, like, man, ooh, how you feel about managing me or whatever, ooh. He said he was going to look into it or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. He ain't never get back at me, so I was on the move. I was ready to, you know, like, yeah. I was already slowed down, you know, so I fell back from it a little bit. So. But what, he wanted you to diss Dirk or some shit? Yeah. He, who do you that's want you to home. beef with? <laughs> he come right into it. Well, I mean, that's yeah, what I heard. Man. You said that in another interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so whack, yeah, though. Uh, so, like, oh, yeah, oh, like, I'm going to sign yeah. you, and, like, you can, I know exactly who you can beef it with. I'll put the whole thing together. He came to me direct, like, that's what I want you to do, but I feel a motherfucker vibes how you steady asking questions about the wrong shit, like, why you your just... nose in the wrong shit, like, you feel me? Yeah. Either you the police or... You feel me? I'm watching you, gang. Like, but he, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. still, it's cool. Well, he was asking you two specific he questions cool, about your, your street lifestyle? No, no. What's it's the cool, worst man. question he asked you? You say who? What's the most yeah. probing question that he asked? He asked me shit crazy. <laughs> no, I did see where you said that, like, the reason you really stopped, because he, you thought that he wanted you to, like, get into it with uh, Dirk, probably for, like, the, the music. yeah. yeah. The vibes I got shit. out of that. Yeah, that's, that's the vibes you got from it? Yeah. yeah. So, like, because uh, at one point you was signed to OTF. You was yeah. signed to Dirt. 
what happened with that because like that's when I, i'm like you know what i'm saying i was hoping to see the 600 OTS bro, shit like i feel like everybody can't be a star on one label like you know if it's already just like this like this man label so the main focus gonna be him type shit, you know? Yeah. We all can't build our, you know, I gotta get my own team and build myself, but it was all fun and cool. It's a good label and all that, you know? But when you actually I signed, did you really talk to him about it? No, or? I was fucking with D-Thing, his brother. Right. Yeah, so. And that's like, so then after, but when things don't really work out or whatever, you felt like it was kind of his yeah, I'll influence? Yeah, real big, so. I needed a real, you know, a real team. You was catching like, traction. Yeah, yeah, going yeah bro. And it'll slow me down, like shelve me if, you know, all the attention ain't on me right now, like type shit. So I feel you, this your team, I'm a, you know. So you felt like maybe d thing seen the vision with you more so than Dirk did? For sure, 100%. It was something yeah. like that, yeah. Cause it's all, uh, I, I was fucking with the movement and shit, like jump one of my, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ubuka, yeah. I think yeah. came on. That shit I ain't gonna crazy. lie, we was unstoppable though. For sure, nobody fucking. What's y'all relationship now? Like you yeah, talk to Ubuka? Cool. Yeah. Any of them? Yeah. What's up with you and THF though? It seemed like you, y'all, it seemed like <laughs> y'all. That shit go with nobody, gang. Not even my ops. You see my ops, cool. For... I, I be seeing the lives though, bro. So yeah. like, all right. What lives? This all shit right. all entertainment, gang. Nah, Everybody it's all, it might be all entertainment, but it's the shit niggas y'all putting out the, so I seen a live where they were saying that a nigga, not your chain, but somebody in your, and Steve got their chain to it. I don't know nothing, it ain't got nothing to do with me, gang. So you, you can't confirm or deny yeah. the chain got took? But it was a Steve Drive chain that they were saying that niggas had took, somebody from THF took it. Ain't got nothing to do with me, gang, folks. I feel it. Tight shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, so what are your thoughts on Jay Main? We were talking about him getting robbed and back here earlier. What's it like seeing him take off I mean, with this whole cool. like comedy I just, wave? I was just fake on YouTube looking at him. Cause I was on I was looking at one of the duck old videos he was in there or whatever. Then I was looking at him today, he doing a little better. You know? Doing better than he was doing back in the day. Yeah, he was doing all the wolf and the this and the shit. He doing better though. You know? I know, yeah. That, that was weird for me like a month or two ago to like go back and watch some of his old music videos and realize how much shit he was talking about people. And then I kind of realized like, oh, so this is why. Yeah, he got his head on the shoulder. Yeah, and that's why he kind of moves around a certain way because he's, he's always acting like somebody might want to do something to him. And when I watch his old videos, I'm like, oh, all right. I guess I understand that a little bit more. Hmm. Do you nah. think he's funny? Mm, not really. Why not? Cool though. Just too many catchphrases? No, that shit corny to me. Really? Yeah. It don't hit different? Chicago, the whole Chicago been saying that though. So. Right. Y'all just new to it. He just brought it out. He That's why I applaud him. He bring a lot of shit out. Honestly, we're not really new to it either. People have been saying it hits different about everything for fucking a long ass time. But for some reason, the way he said it just hit a little different. That's like the uh, the goof ass <laughs> nigga cornbread that he said that goof ass Bobas again. That goofy ass shit. Who? Bobas again. That shit's so goofy. He looks so geeky. You feel like when uh he took the uh. When he took his cereal over to the Vomer, was that disrespectful? For sure. That like, just crossed the line? Because it was yeah. like, what? Because it was promotional? Yeah, I, I thought the same thing. I feel like you shouldn't. And then he did it in like a shiesty mask, too. It's like, if you're going to be pushing peace, do it in like a, a better way. You know what I'm saying? I did feel like it was a little out of line. What's the better way? Get you a little security team. At least holler somebody, somebody from the block, off. right? Look, sir, huh? we over here to. That's how you supposed to get. <laughs> what you were saying? How you no, I'm just talking shit, bro. I don't know. I feel like maybe you should have tapped in with somebody one. from O Block and like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Not man. just sneak over there and do it. Right? Would you try the whoops? Hmm? Would you try the whoops? I ain't eat the dirty O's. Really? I got a box back at the Me office. Too. On my refrigerator. You never I tried it? Bitches down there five, four, five years. Yeah, I had it for like five years. Never I really felt my tempted. people though. So, have you talked to Dirk since you left OTF? Mm hmm You do? You've had conversations? Because it felt like there wasn't conversations while you were signed, right? Mm hmm That's what I, the impression oh, a lot of people were under. We had conversations with you somewhere. So, shit's cool now? Shit been cool. That's why I'm lost. Y'all can't believe everything y'all see. Don't believe everything you hear in half of what you see. Man. So, was the idea that Mimo had beef with Dirk, that was exaggerated? Yeah. Got it. A lot of YouTube videos out there saying that. 
the popular narrative. Y'all try to stay off YouTube, man. Mm. That's my motto. You watch those documentaries nope. about you and shit? I hate that shit. Just not I interested. Told you what, that's what <laughs> that's what made me hate blog sites and shit. Yeah. When they be posting that shit, I was like, fuck. So you ain't never seen none of the Trot Lord Ross videos and none of them? that? The oh, nigga that did that. the uh six the hour King Von video. Documentary. Or three hour. No, I, I heard they had me in that shit though. But the I ain't yeah. see that shit. Well, we did see you in the new one in uh, Young Boy's Hood dancing around and shit, filming videos. No, I ain't see that. No, that's definitely in the Young yeah, Boy video. Like, all right, so when the Young Boy and King Von situation, well, the Quando Rondo King Von situation happened, I think you and 600 uh, Breezy went to like Savannah and y'all shot some music videos. I didn't go with Breezy. What the fuck? <laughs> no, it was you se- didn't go, they, they it traveled was separate. separately, right? <laughs> separate, yeah, but no. I'm saying like he went out there and I think you had one out there. So there's like videos. Of y'all being out in Savannah and shit that they included. Man, I went to Savannah. I've been had that shit planned before all that shit even happened. Yeah, but you just shot a music video and shit out there anyway, right? That's all. I was chilling. What's your relationship? I don't know. What the fuck would I be on camera even letting y'all know? I don't do no. I be chilling, gang. I'm an artist. But you were doing like Instagram lives at the gas station Mm -hmm. on the way there and shit. We all seen that. No, I was there. Oh, that was there. Yeah. Why were you doing that? I go live anyway, gang. I'll go live here, yeah. but on your thing, it say don't go live. <laughs> on Steve. <laughs> this, do we have that? Is there you know a thing that says don't go to? live? Yeah, on the thing, they send me the text. Oh, that's for the other spot. Here, everybody knows <laughs> what's going on. Y'all yeah, should have sent us the updated, the new and approved one. Then. Oh, my we mama has been saying don't go text. Week. I'm trying to come <laughs> I mean, don't live. go live, boy. You wanted to be on live while you were here. Why not? I don't Look know. We straight. To, Just have a good time with it. Yeah, uh, we you know who you're straight. talking to, boy. See, that's what's funny, though. You guys said that you wouldn't be streamers, but then you'll go that's on Instagram live for an not, hour. We Look. going live promoting our crap, promoting but our crap. But that's streaming. We, it's the same thing. It's all music Man, is YouTube streaming. YouTube live. Everything is, is streaming. Don't this let him. He, know, that's what he do. It is. Don't you know it. Fuck your brain. Tell Watch out. Uh, you you going on Instagram live is exactly the same from a technological standpoint as you being a YouTuber. Everything is streaming, bro. Everything is streaming. This is streaming. But he just said he didn't want to be a streamer. though, because like if you go live, you know how niggas going to just screen record your shit and put it on YouTube anyway. Yeah. So it's kind of like a stream. Everything is streaming. I go live just to go live. I be feeling myself. I don't think about none of y'all finna snatch up none of that on stream. I know niggas still just. You hear me, Adam Sandler? You're creating content. That's what I do. <laughs> hey, but I'm you, happy to be compared to Adam just, Sandler. That's a legendary think, American. But you yeah, just lit, so people really just steal your shit. Yeah, that's all, gang. It. I just yeah. be me, gang. I don't be worried yeah. about nobody <laughs> snatching that shit. I don't really don't like that shit, though. I really prefer y'all come back and get more instead of going to snatch it, put it on there. But you everything know? is streaming. This shit gonna get streamed. Somebody yeah. gonna copy the... And I can't knock your hustle. Like, that's how you get it. No, there'll be TikToks all this that we won't yeah, make any money from. All, it's a is damn shame. Somebody gonna chop it up. Everything Chicago is way, gonna chop it up. That don't nah, make you a streamer if we want to come here live. live. Yeah, for the Adam ain't sent us that new and approved. That's all it boiled down to. You're supposed to send us. I mean, you can go. You can stream all you want around here. The other spot, we try to keep it low key. You say stream at the one that got broken, huh? Well, no, that was here. Nah, that was all bad. Right there. You guys Yo. parked in front, so you should be all right. Yeah, I always, always front street. I always park in front. Don't leave any laptops or front cameras out. You touch that coyote, ass going. I'm not the one who's going to break Love into him. it. My baby. Ain't no whoops over here. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nah, I ain't no whoops is great. Shout out, Jay, man. You're whoopless? That's too bad. Oh, yeah, fucking, uh, uh, nah, shout out Fudo. He turned it. I'll fuck with him. Yeah, so you, you can uh, appreciate like the push to peace movement and shit that he trying to get going? Yeah, I appreciate whoever being positive. As long as he see, as long as he ain't just on no troll and shit, bro. Because there's really shit going on. Like, kids really watching, though. Like, you know? If yeah. you is, for real, bro. So would you get behind Because I seen somewhere that you said that you would be open to sit down with Ruga. Yeah, Ruga cool. Ah, uh, yeah, Ruga. So that that could actually, cause that'd be a real start at pushing. We actually had some. I had. We had uh the meeting with Farrakhan, right? Me, Ruga, Farrakhan, Bodil, all us. Uh, High Rod. We had the meeting with uh Farrakhan. We was gonna sit down, all us get together. But something had happened. We have Mac passed away, so. That happened around the time my homie passed away, so I had to reschedule that shit. But we gonna Man. get together, you know. That's crazy. We seen uh, Tay Savage and Ruga posted up together. Yeah. I seen pictures. You think that's a good step in the right direction for peace in Chicago? Anything, anything, everybody, you know. 
long as it's good vibes when you come around and ain't no fake shit going on, I but fuck with it. Remo kind of shocked J Main because he he played him like a recent uh, Tay Savage song where he was dissing a bunch of people and and J Main couldn't believe it. He's like, felt kind of like maybe Tay Savage wasn't so serious about peace after all. I don't know what nobody bring that gang. I can't tell you. Oh. But would you agree that the leaders of the the peace movement need to be willing to kind of stop dissing people in their music? I don't know what the fuck. I'm or is is that just <laughs> such an ingrained part of this music that this, we just can't give that up? Because I don't think we're ever gonna have peace if that shit keep going. No, everybody should be able to rap without dissing though. That shit easy, bro. I did it. I ain't never think I could do it. It's easy though. That's but you got mad songs where you ain't dissing that I go said. up. Yeah. I I, I just yeah, recently yeah. started that shit though. All my new songs on this stuff. I think you and Ruga getting together would be huge for the push the peace shit though. Like, yeah, Ruga actually sent me a song to hop on too. Do you yeah. think anybody's gonna be mad at you if you do music with them? <laughs> Come on, man. You know who you're talking to, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's you not a concern. Know. What? I mean, somebody's gonna feel some kind of way about who? it, right? Who? Just people in general. I don't know. Like who? Uh, Damn, who I don't know, know their names. Who going to do something to me, though? Uh, Not me, something. Gonna maybe just Big 60. Like, but you going to have to read a comment section, right? Who? Who going to say they feel some type of way? I mean, people might not voice how they feel. Who is people? Shit. Maybe OTF? What the mm -hmm. fuck, bro? <laughs> I mean, if OTF They pushing Ruby, peace, too. Everybody, <laughs> everybody pushing peace. Push gang. So then y'all say, who pushing peace? Then I'd love to see you. Gang, ain't nobody going to say shit to me. Ain't nobody going to feel no type of way, gang, on Steve, bro. That's yeah. all I'm going to say, bro. Do you believe Young Boy when he said that him and Dirk talk all the time? I don't even pay that shit no attention, gang. I don't pay. I'm a grown man, bro. I don't pay other niggas it no attention. It seems like trolling, man. right? You you pay, do you, uh, Did you do any background history or look, look at me up or anything, gang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't pay niggas no attention, gang. I be in my own lane, bro. If it ain't 600, I don't get no fuck, bro. Oh, mm. Steve. All right, so I hear some shit about 600. Fucking, there was like an interrogation video where I think it was Shark <laughs> on land. He was kind of like dry snitching on Just Blow. And then then I think he tried to ban you from coming to 600. And then you came out there and shocked his ass one time. What, what, how to, classic, was Shark on classic moment. Classic <laughs> moment. Really amazing <laughs> moment, really. For sure, for he sure. He was just but playing, man. He was just, playing. He was just yeah. you and so you and Shark on land cool now? He was just playing, man. He seen, he made most of the videos talking about Mimo ain't coming to 600. Then I seen you out there, I'm like, oh shit, Mimo ain't 600. Like, he cool, bro. That's my people's people's. Yeah. He like an older, the older homie or one of the older guys or some shit. Cause I be seeing Tay call him Gaddafi or something like that. What you and uh, Tay Capone's relationship? <laughs> he cool, as long as he's, you know, he stay his way, I stay my way, I'm fools. But why is like that? Why? Cause if y'all homies and shit, why is like he stay his way, I stay my way. I ain't. I don't, hang, I don't really. I ain't really hang with Tay. I ain't really. Hang with or yeah. Tay wasn't really in my crowd. Is it cause of the you know the the snitching rumors and shit he got? So you kind of backed up off him. How if I wasn't ever hanging with? But at one point y'all used to do. You was never in no music videos and uh -huh. shit with him. Or you was in an L.A. Capone music video. Uh, nah, I was in jail most of LA shit. I oh, was right. always in jail. I, like, I was on house arrest when he passed away. I had just got out and got on house arrest. Damn. So I couldn't go to the front room shit. My baby mama had went, brought me a obituary and shit. Though. Damn, so what was your relationship like with LA though? Yeah, we was close too. Close. I seen LA like- LAD thing. I seen a clip that you said you went to Tuca funeral? Yeah. How, how, I used to hang on uh, 51st and Cali Met when I was a shorty too. Like I stayed on 51st and King Drive. I used to hang with Geo Drive and shit. So I went with them. I went with Pig, Lil Chris, all them. We all had went to the front room and shit. So I actually knew Tuka though. He was in my sister classroom. So, all right. So what was Tuka like? Like he was you? a shorty though. Yeah, yeah I'm grown. So at the time, y'all used to like kick it though, or y'all just knew yeah, each other? Yeah, sure. Last time I seen them, he was on 53rd. We smoked the blunt in the alley or whatever. Oh, you said, sure, like you was a little bit older than uh, him. I'm a lot bit older. How old are you? I'm 30. 
Oh, damn, it's not so how old Tuka would be right now? Probably like 25, something like yeah, that? Yeah, like 20. No, nah, he around my sister. Age, I think. I'm two years older than my sister. So. I don't know, though. He probably younger than her, though. I don't know. But I don't hang with it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... What about uh scrap? Was you friends with scrap? Cause like all y'all was all in the same. I ain't really know scrap like that. He a shorty. I'm five years older than Steve, so scrap a kid to me too. <clears throat> yeah, cause it's crazy because scrap got charged with the murder of uh, Steve, and then he beat the case, and then I be seeing everybody make YouTube videos about it and shit. So that's why I feel like if you and Ruga actually got together and did a pitch to push the peace movement that would like hit harder than than really anybody really doing the push the peace shit because that shit like really would mean something you know what i'm saying because he beat the case that don't mean i'm shit. not saying because he beat the case but i'm just saying just in general it just seemed like you yeah. and ruga yeah, maybe I then feel you though. yeah that's how i look at it though that's why i say you know yeah it'll change a lot though especially in our city though for sure big less was trying to set it up mm-hmm What's your, what's your thought? Big Les was one of the OGs out there. Like, you know him from the block, or you know him now since he's been doing YouTube? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know Big Les. Yeah, he, he going crazy with the stopping, man. It's so, uh, <laughs> stop him, man. man. But he passed that down to Ruger, too, right? Ruger be saying that shit. I don't be watching this shit, though. I know him. I don't, I don't yeah, know yeah. about the YouTube shit, though. He told me, though, when he called me, like, I got a little podcast, whatever, bro. How do you feel about like the the old heads becoming content creators? Because Mama Duck, she doing her thing too. I talk to her every day down there. Really? What, what do you guys talk about? Wow, she cool as hell. Just life shit. What's going on locally? They don't even know, do they? <laughs> nah, he laugh like you troll. No, 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 Steve, no, no, I talk to him because that's, out, like, he looking you know, at y'all reaction because this shit that I'm, people yeah, don't I'm, know. I'm we don't know that. So like, when we that's hear, why like, my homie laugh. Like, she cool as hell, gang. She. Right up. So when y'all really start forming a relationship to even, like, yeah. the text? Well, last, really, before this, but, uh, my OG used to tell me, like, stop dissing them. Ooh, you know, I lost kids to this shit. She lost Steve, so ooh. she tell me, like, I know how she feel. I know how other mother, ooh. you know, me, immature young man, I'm still dissing. Ooh. That's why I changed a lot of my songs up, too, though. My OG used to tell me, like, ooh. It's a part of growing, man. Yeah. It's about growth. Growing goofy as hell, steady talking about fuck, ooh, yeah, smoke, ooh. I got kids. But yeah, though, uh, I was reaching out to her though, talking about like I uh I feel her story, I understand. Ooh, my OG the same way, lost her son. So. I felt like the interview that we did with Mama Duck was extremely moving, powerful shit. But then everybody seemed to just focus in on the fact that she told the story about how she walked in on J Main getting some pussy. And I asked her if she was aroused. He got to switch it up to some. By the, well, no, yeah, this is a slight Come detour. What do you be food. thinking about, bro? No, I asked her we if she was turned on when she saw J Main beating cheeks. You is crazy. And the skin he took skin. issue with that. Like, that's what I'm saying. To me, it was beat. heartfelt. Steve, bro. You is crazy. Do you think that's inappropriate for me to ask her that? For sure, gang. Like, Damn. this somebody it's mama, gang. It's inappropriate for you to I be. I thought you were no going to have my back. back. What if I got your mama on this couch asking her about some freaky... If, well, you, you, if you my mom came like on a podcast with Mimo 600, then by all means, you could ask her what she thinks about all my freaky behavior. He in the flick, gang. He do all type of freaky shit. What made your mind go from, though, a serious moment to asking something like... Well, we're talking about Mama Duck. This is a conflict Jay Main brought up to me the, the other names, day. Though, despite the names, though, what made you go from something serious to something sexual? Like, well, to me, sex man, is serious. Fuck that. Don't he, any oh, little crazy. question, he going to turn into some <laughs> dick, <laughs> pussy ball. Funny as hell. I mean, I thought that was a fair question for Mama yeah. Duck. I should. I mean, she's, she's a woman at the end of the day, right? That's that shit in there. That's that stuff in there. It's like good PCP. Nah, but that's try? big to hear yeah, that shit. Yeah, I believe it. Long, but we got our own <laughs> shit. That, you feel like I'm tweaking. Yeah, look at you. I ain't fucked that shit. Look at you. So what was the situation with McAdoo? That's how you say it, McAdoo 600? Yeah. He, he passed away in prison? Yeah, that's all I heard, man. I seen people was like uh, <laughs> shouting him out and shit, and I think you made like a post where you wasn't really fucking with people shouting him out. Well, folks, uh, his uh, mama, I talk to her all the time. She actually said she gonna do her own interview. Like, so, 
I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna let her talk for herself. How long he was in jail for? Cause I don't really remember seeing his name. Mike was in jail for a minute. I was in jail for like three years. Got out. He was out for like a couple months. Still in the Went back in that bitch. So I don't know, gang. My memory, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So. But y'all was close to him. Hell yeah, yeah. You was in Cook County for three years. I was in uh, Mount Sterling, twenty three and one. Uh, Mount Sterling, Illinois. I word. Uh, what you got both for 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 three gun years? case? Gun case. You got any Cook County videos that might pop out? You know how they release them? Might do. I was in that rolling shit. We was in that stomping shit on stage. How you feel about niggas just like now again, like the Cook County footage and shit? And you got niggas like this Ma. shit. I've been knowing though, like all that shit y'all getting whiff of, like all that, all that shit, bro. Like you'd heard about it. You seen some of the videos? Oh uh, yeah, bro. Half that shit. I was around that shit, like 2013, 2012, 2014, 2015. I was around that shit. Like, nah, but I'm saying though, like you was in there seeing it. But like you ain't nobody expected the videos to be leaking. Yeah, shit. I ain't know that. That's somebody yeah. in there doing that shit. That's like you were filming a video part the whole time you were locked somebody up. Somebody that used to work in a. Yeah, you know, yeah. Ten out of Jake room. said it's somebody that cover he said it's somebody, somebody that worked in the footage room. And, yeah, yeah, that's what he believed. You fuck with Ten Ninety Jake? I don't know who that is. He's a YouTuber who basically exposes a lot of snitches. Gets the paperwork. Uh, my homie was telling me about him, Chicago King Day, but I don't really know who he is though. But overall, do you support people who are trying to expose snitches through their YouTube videos? Oh no, this internet shit getting freaky, gang. Like, they got all type of new shit. Like, they got to expose it now. Yeah, you got a white guy in Boston who's doing all this hard work to expose people in communities he has nothing to do with. I mean, it's kind of useful, right? It's like a service to the public. You studied them. I was a good friend of mine. You ain't never seen a white dude that be dropping the, the snitching paperwork? Yeah, he I, ain't never heard I heard him. that shit. Yeah, he, I heard that name before, but I ain't never. Heard. Yeah, he be breaking all this shit. <laughs> He's definitely the most gangster white boy I know. And every time I'm around him, it really reminds me how not gangster I am. He a rapper or a blogger? Just blogger. A blogger. Doesn't rap that I know of. <laughs> Might have a verse in the tuck, I don't know. Oh, I ain't never heard of him. Why, uh, why were you calling out people for converting into Muslims in Chicago. I was when I was cracking jokes, man. Y'all can't believe everything y'all ain't <laughs> have for what y'all see. Okay, so it was sarcastic. I fuck with Muslims. No disrespect yeah. to I know Muslims. that my hair Muslim. Yeah. The fuck? Could you y'all see Y'all just come up with anything. Bro. Could you see yourself converting? No. I was just born and raised what I am. So is religion a big part of your life? Yeah. I believe in God. That's how I made it through a lot. I've been shot, stabbed, all type of shit. How often do you pray? Down there every day. Before I eat, all type of shit. Damn. You ever ask God for something? Health, wealth. But watch over me and my family shit. Forgiveness. Heard about prosperity. Well, oh, that's what we can make with God. So, <laughs> sure, yeah. so you ask God for like very general things? You don't ask him for like specific no. deeds? You gotta do. Uh, does it not? It don't do work that way. Right. You, you don't ask for deeds. You like, do. Deeds. I need a deed. What's a deed? No, I only somebody just do something for me. He fucking uh -huh. say some porno shit. No, 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 no. This is not. I'm, I'm gonna avoid that. Folks, and I'm gray. I'm straight on. You don't watch porn? Stuff. No, gang. I, Why not? I have a girl. So? And she pleases me. I don't have to go out and look for other people freaking on the internet. So you're telling me that there's all these beautiful women fucking guys on camera and there isn't some part of you that wants to see it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll bro, tune out of that part of it. So uh, yeah, I got some more questions. I got about like 600 and shit because I, I fuck with y'all, like heavy and shit. So e -Day was one of the first niggas rapping. What's the uh, other nigga name? He don't, he don't really be doing so much media. Young Famous or something? Yeah. Where uh, he, where bro be at? Why he don't be popping out doing the media? Do. I got songs with him, folks. He got music out, but yeah. I ain't really never seen him do an interview or nothing. Mm, you want him on here? Yeah, come tell bro, come fuck with us. I reach out. Y'all, I still locked in though. You still fuck with bro? Cause I be seeing he be in your videos. He was in the nobody property video, right? Yeah. They love that nobody's property. Nah, bro. that's my shit right there. I ain't gonna lie. What should we ask Six Hundred Breezy when we have him on? I already know what y'all gonna ask him on for now. They want uh -oh. you on no jumper. Oh, here we go. They want you on no jumper. Yo, what up? What's the deal? I'm with it. Yeah, we got we got to make it happen, man. 
I've been tapped in for a minute. Put it pull up to the, the mic. So they can hear. Now you gotta put it to the mic so they can hear. Uh I'm the inbox so you can get my line. Uh all right, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen though. So you on famous? He from six hundred too, right? Yeah. Cause he won. He ain't got six hundred in his name. I wonder why he he was one of the first not to. Cause a lot of people had to. Well, I guess not. You got Booga six hundred, Mimo six hundred, Tay six hundred. Young famous, I guess not. But yeah, fucking uh, y'all was called Brick City at first. Who's his who? name? Young famous six hundred on Instagram. Ah, oh, tight shit. Oh. So everybody got it. So who who came up with six hundred? Like who was like, all right, we gonna call ourselves six hundred? Why six hundred? Shit, it was like, really, it was like a uh, brand of like five, six people, bro. It was like Lil Boo, Lil Boo, Manny, Inky D, uh, P Thing, Booker. It was like six people, six motherfuckers. All right, for sure. I hear Lil Boo name a lot too. Yeah. Lil Boo, Man. somebody. Uh, D Rose, uh, C Day. It was like, yeah. It but was why 600 though? Like, where, what's the significance? 60 of a King Dry. It was already oh, 300. Right, for sure. So, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm Which I was called Brick City at first. Yeah, that's 59 of King Dry. Who you think's going to win the boxing match, Ruga or Rico Reckless? Shit, I don't know. I never saw none one of them fight. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Just from like, what you've seen of them though like never in terms of how big they are and shit you think no, you've definitely seen Rico reckless fight bitch i've been out here oh that little <laughs> windmill shit matter uh, of fact actually i'm glad you brought that up because you and little mister used to be online going at it and shit back in the day i seen like a video of, like you in a car or some shit he like chased you in the car yeah what the fuck you in, where you know little mister from anyway shit around hostel or whatever i don't really know him i just know him around now yeah Cause he the one they say they say Mr. Little Mr. the one started uh no lacking. He started the turn no lacking. You you can give him that or you know yeah, I agree? guess shit if that's what they say. Yeah, that's what the internet be saying and shit. That's it. He was dropping dropping music and shit at the time. Like was he going up or like you know him for music or you just know no, him? No, I just yeah. know him from the internet. All this shit be you know yeah. loud as hell. So at the time when Ede was dropping music, who who else was doing it like? Yeah. E-Day, Duck, who else? E-Day, Sosa? Duck, Sosa. It was a lot of motherfuckers rapping, but they was just, you know, bigger than a lot of more motherfuckers. So who hopped behind E-Day to start from 600 to be like, all right, I'm finna get in the two. Who was next? L.A.? No, they, first of all, F and them, well, all of them was rapping together, Famous and Famous, E-Day, all of them was rapping together. So I don't know, everybody started coming. L.A. came around, well, when L.A. come around for real? <laughs> he came he around. Nah, folks. So what you mean by like when L.A. came around, he wasn't no, born? No, not coming around the block, but the rapper. Oh, rap yeah, yeah, What was that like? Was nah. Who? No. Hell no. Who L.A. came around? No, who was rapping first? Uh, I mean, Ida, uh, L.A. L.A. made that shit. Oh, yeah, L. S. Dot, S. Dot, on stage. That's who it was. S. Dot, S. Dot. That's really who it was. Right, for sure. Then it was L. A. On stage. Yeah, yeah cause S. Dot from Six Hundred Two, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was in. He, he was in Glow Tesla, Game. Uh, he was. He was. Uh, he was. Huh? In, he was with Chief Keith. Who? S. Dot. Am I tripping? Yeah. You, uh, you talking about somebody else? Nah, all right, I'm tripping. S. D. Yeah. SD, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. but S Dot was heavy. I'm sure nah, like dot somebody to... was in that gap. I had to yeah. think about who it was. S Dot, yeah. I'm still. I interviewed SD. Yeah, S Dot, because S Dot used to hang out with Tay a lot, right? Yeah. All right, for sure. So where where S Dot at nowadays? He still be out. Folks be on the block. He just dropped the tape yeah. and a video a couple days ago. So niggas still like hang outside six hundred. It's safe to do that shit nowadays. Like, I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't it be? It's safe to I hang just... right here, right? I mean, but this is like a establishment and shit. Like, I feel like if niggas just had my low and I was into it with niggas, I wouldn't just be just chilling and making it easy for niggas type shit. It ain't easy. Yeah. Stuff Not happens. just 600. I'm just saying just in general. Like, they be saying, like, a lot of niggas in Chicago something don't. Something just happened at their establishment. Yeah, something just happened something. at y'all establishment. My motherfuckers Not to just us. broke in some cars. Right. We got security. Like, shit yeah. happened at establishment. Yeah, shit yeah. happened everywhere. Shit happened everywhere. Buyer yeah. beware. Yeah. I feel that. Shit don't mean. Uh, you ever hear that expression? It could be not safe yeah. anywhere. If you if you're gonna go shopping, 
the items in your vehicle are not the responsibility of our establishment. But you still stand, you don't stay in Chicago. I seen you with like a fat ass house somewhere. In the A. In the A or something, yeah. yeah. How long, when did you move to Atlanta? Like during like the four, OTF? Four and a half years ago. Yeah. And you L- just stayed Life's out better there? out there? Hell yeah, yeah. It's more peaceful. Chill. Do you ever miss the rack? All the time. <laughs> I always be at home. I always go to the rack. I'm always in the rack. I actually just left. I'm finna go back, like, Monday. You feel like it's safe to just be going to Chicago and shit like that, though? Like, I know everybody gonna do it and shit, but, like... Yeah, it ain't, but it's how you move. Yeah. But you got no choice. You got family and shit to go back, so you ain't just going back just to... Just to flaunt and shit. You... It's a real reason. Type shit. Mm. Who you who you feel like uh, out of Chicago right now? Like who got the the movement and shit? Not in six hundred, just like in general. Like who who would you put the spotlight on? Like, like not the females going crazy. Like Mellow Bucks. Yeah, Mellow going crazy. Yeah, Mellow Sizzy. Uh, my girl Glizzy Glow. Your girl rap? That's your girl. Yeah. Glizzy Glow. Yeah. Where I got tap uh, in. Who else? Pretty Leah. It's a lot of females in the right going crazy. Glizzy Glow, huh? That's your chick that you said you've been dating for three months? Uh, she you guys make music together and shit? Yeah. It ain't out though. Oh, interesting. Wait, so she just started rapping? No. Glizzy Glow on how Mimo 600 fell in love with her confirms she was. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time. Well, that, that's that's time part I'm three. I'm looking at him type of shit. That's so part right three. He goes on, straight to it when you say the name. I didn't even know the Chicago Wave had a YouTube channel. Oh, what? she got a song called Shootout from four years ago? I'm worried. Oh, she got some shit she dropped <laughs> called out. Dada, though. It's hard as hell off the uh, Raw 49 of Skiller Baby Beat. Glizzy Glow on owning seven businesses, school banging, and her kid. What is school banging? I don't know. I don't know what they... You just do, like, really good in school, and then you're, like, ba- you're school banging? Probably... Don't say no freaky shit. shit. I'm not. Oh, I'm, no. not. That's not, that's I'm not being respectful. Way. What are you talking about? She, she, she got from, a song uh, called Wipe It Down. She from Chicago and shit, but she not like from 600 or anything, right? Is she on some gangster shit? She says 90% of female drill rappers are cap. Damn. Them's fighting words. Nah, she a lady, bro. Okay. Speaking her mind, that's all. Glizzy. I've been asking everybody who from Chicago recently who come up here. <laughs> this nigga funny as fuck. When I yeah, searched it, right. when I searched yeah. it, Aunt Glizzy came up too. Like YouTube was confused. Ooh. Think about some shit. What you think about Aunt Glizzy and shit? He be tweaking on Chicago what and shit. That? You ain't never seen. You don't know Aunt Glizzy is a virtual crip. I ain't never heard. Of <laughs> he from uh-uh. he from DC. He just be tweaking with Chicago. He be tweaking with everybody. Really. He used to like carry Shy Glizzy's bags and shit, and now he like makes YouTube videos. Who? Aunt Glizzy, what's her name? It's like Shy Glizzy's little br- little buddy who went rogue. Oh, fuck is <laughs> Shy. You know how that should be. He went rogue. We got on the Team Six Hundred merch up. too, though. I'm full no. Where I we get that, that at? Online. I'm gonna send y'all the links and shit, man. You know. Nah, that's dope. You got like the Steve's the pants driveway. match it perfectly too. You I got, got like my, a uh, clothing line too. Steve. Shiny vinyl leather type thing going on. Oh my god, Billy Jean. Yeah. Who uh who would you consider uh six hundred right now? Like on the label for you? What you mean? Like, like who's in it? Like everybody you've been seeing. Ain't nobody go nowhere. We look jail passed away, but No, nah, I'm not talking about like I'm just talking about like on you on said you rap. got your label, yeah, on the rap side. Oh right? yeah. Uh shit. Me, we all doing our own thing though right now, so. Say that name, get us some exposure. Who? Who who you put you ain't pushing nobody? Like you said, you got the label. My artist right here, man. I'm full now. Shout out Star Money. I'm full now. My boy Fuck Twill Cap. Cap? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Who else? Uh, famous? You already know. All right, that's it. I fought with Cap. Cap been around for a minute, too. He, it seemed like he always be in and out of jail. He, he out right now, though? Yeah, folks in the trenches. That's what come with this shit, you know? Yeah. He out right now, though, right? He straight? Yeah, he out. Yeah. For sure. Hey, yeah, I got a whole lot of music. I got to tap in, man. So, so. I got I it. Who? Star money on everything. Star money. I'm gonna save that. Oh. So we can uh we got we gotta check that out. You got any songs in particular that I should check out? Yeah, um check out uh Juice. 
All right. Featuring me, my 600. Yeah. All right. Um, then I got another one called um, No Cap with a K. Why'd you do that? Just you like K's more than C's? Just because it's, it's common for it to be a C. Like No Cap. That's the common way to spell it. So I yeah. wanted to, it to stand out. So if you look it up, it's going to come up. Specifically, that type of this way. motherfucker definitely small. It's decent though. Yeah. What's sure. this y'all merch? Yeah. yeah, we'll let you with some shit before you leave and shit too. Make sure you get some. I've been asking everybody who come from Chicago. I've been asking them the name. They who they put on the drill Mount Rushmore. Yeah, four people. Who 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 the faces of it? Like pull the mic. Stop drill. Can you, yeah. can you pull it? Yeah, in the drill. Uh, Not Kanye West, like just the drill scene in Chicago on the Mount Rushmore. Shit. Let's say Vaughn, Doug, Ede. Who else? You only got four. Me. Fuck you, Tim. So no Sosa and no Dirk. Oh, yeah. No phone, no. How he gonna ask Sosa and Dirk if you were stopping them at the number you were stopping them? I mean, you just can't. No, you gotta make some tough he, decisions. He, he was one and two. He, if he if you're gonna do a top soon, four of all time, you, you, you gotta make some tough decisions. Two, yeah. I said, me. Fuck you, to about. No, nah, phone them too. I don't look at them as drill rappers, though. Like, Cause they basically, I don't know, phone them industry. Like, that shit industry to me. Like, yeah. Mm. So you consider yourself a drill rapper, but you ain't this one. Yeah. yeah. Now, I yeah. don't. But that's the same way with them, cause he came out. Both the niggas came out dissing, yeah. so it's kind of like the yeah. elevation of, you know what I'm saying? But nah, it's big for you to say duck on there, cause everybody else like, I asked Mad Chicago. Nah, you that gotta duck. get props when it's due though. You can't everybody get on ain't TV doing and that. laugh, folks. You goofy. That's why I be laughing at. That's why I don't believe half the shit I see on this yeah. shit. Man. Drill yeah. rapping ain't always dissing though. It's a whole scared. lifestyle. I mean, he has a little Reese. Reese if he would put any of his ops on the Mount Rushmore, look, I ain't saying, gonna lie. Not. Reese too though. On Steve, Reese part of that shit. Yeah. Top part of that yeah, shit. Reese be Steve. doing this shit for sure. You think he makes the top four of all time? Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Shout out Reese. Both been around I mean, he put man. Ide in there, and Ide like I fought Ide, but if Ide. And then Reese got yeah, into they was around the same era. Yeah. But now that started that drill rap shit. Though. Here's a here's a here's a better question then, because if you can if you can give respect to some of the ops, and you put Duck in there, who else would you say from the other side could actually rap that you like? Dooski. Or oh my kid, Shorty was Dusky? raw. Yeah, Dooski rap. Dooski was raw. I used to call him <laughs> folk on stage. I used to. FaceTime, we stayed <laughs> calling each other. He, you and know you like my cousin, bitch. I'm for the, he, he I'm for the. And Dooski, the uh, he was the ruler in the home, yeah. right? He the, it was his funeral that Wooski got shot at. I think so. All right, you know Wooski? Yeah, I know Wooski. From my high school, yeah. What was your racial relationship? No, with I don't know. My school, I just know him from the neighborhood. Cause he was from O Block at first originally and shit. Like his brother. I don't know about that shit. All right. A-O-K-D or Famous Dex? <laughs> what, the music? Or just like if you were on a boat with both of them and you had to push somebody Dex. off. I you, know you I grew up with Dex. <laughs> so you fuck with Dex? Yeah. yeah I, I, know that's I don't know the Dex that I see on TV. I know Dex, like, personally. But where you know Dex from? Like, just hanging grew out? Grew up, yeah. The shorty I watched when his mama passed, his brother passed. He was with me when my brother passed. All type of shit. Damn. That's I went crazy. to jail. He started rapping. I'm down. So you're not an AOKD fan? I don't even know, dude. He's going through some shit right now. Yeah, I'll just be seeing him get punched on a lot. That's all. He got his chain took at Lennox last week, a couple of days ago. I don't know. His no. girl left him. He's staying at the budget inn. That shit hurts your Shit's girl. Shit's all fucked up. My girl mad at me right now. What's she mad at you for? It's crazy shit. You be wildin'? You put her through hell? Try not to. <laughs> Man. You gotta take it easy on her. Women, you know, ha happy man, wife, happy bro. life. I'm a change man. You don't cheat anymore? No. Nah. That shit don't get you nowhere. That shit waste of time. Ain't that the truth? I'm a one woman kind of guy. Um, it's pointless <laughs> though. Like you cheating? Fuck up, yeah, you fuck up some long jeopardy shit for a short term, a temporary moment. Like it's all we man. Pussy everywhere though. Like. You just want to make sure that the girl that you're being loyal to is worth being loyal to. 
That's why you a swinger. You just you ain't gotta cheat. Hedging well, my no, bets. You be out have sword parties. Sword sausage parties. parties. Sausage freak. parties. What are the requirements of a sausage party? I prefer to call it party parties. I don't parties. Explain how party parties. All jocks crazy. out. Party parties. <laughs> All swords out. They sword fight. All swords report to the dance floor. Yeah, it is. Shout out my man's Boosie, though. I'm fooling him. Y'all know he just lumped, jumped on my latest single, Uncle Luke. Did he really? Yeah, What's that relationship like? That's my dog. Boosie, cool to see him. Boosie, badass. Ooh, wee, wavy. Boosie, Louisiana Heat. Yeah. You seen them in the stove hall? Four dollars. Four dollars for four hundred and fifty calories worth of boosie chips. Mimo, would you sign to a label again? Cause I don't think I think you you ain't signed no. Right Mimo now, right? badass. Uh, no. I thought about it. Oh, you like being independent and shit? Yeah, I like independent, but uh, not right now though. What's the plans for the future and shit? Like 2024, which we got. Shit, turning us up, turning my people up, you know? Keep going. I got a lot of shit coming. My first mixtape, I mean, my first album ever. I ain't never dropped the tape, none of that shit. So you finna drop your singles. first album? Yeah. You got a name of it? or Bad Company. That's hard. Yeah. But you, when you say Bad Company, why what that name? What it sound like? Niggas around you, yeah. back doorish. Like, all type of, like, Bad company, period. Like, peer pressure, basically. Like, you know? Yeah. How do you know if somebody's going to backdoor you? Mm, that's the instinct. How you know when your ass need washed? Because it stinks. Exactly. I can smell it from all the way up here. I can smell a nigga that look like he owns some shit. I don't do shit. You know, mm. motherfucker. What was the first? Because they say, because, like, all right. LA, they say L.A. Capone got backdoored at the studio. They said that the, the engineer or whatever dropped his low. It's like they got charged for it and shit, so it ain't like no snitching. Like the niggas got charged for it. So is that the first sign where y'all like, damn, we got to watch going to these studios and shit. Like we can't just be like, because I know sometimes like y'all was living That's in that shit. That's the Chicago shit. instinct, bro. They ain't got nothing to do with L.A., bro. Being backdoor, just, that's just a instinct, period, not just Chicago. You got to yeah. watch anybody anywhere, gang. Like, that shit can happen anywhere. But I'm saying though, when y'all was young at the time, like when was the first awakening when you was like, damn, we do gotta, or like when the that ain't the first incident that shit happened to. I was a, sh I be, you know, shit yeah. happened to me as a shorty game, basically. Yeah, so, that's it. Yeah. How do you feel about like when they say he got backdoored and shit? Like that shit make niggas move differently. I like after that, like y'all niggas have to like switch up going to studios and shit like that. We been moving strategic, yo, so ain't shit. Like, I feel it. Anything you know, else we need to know? What you got coming up? Just told you my album. Bad yeah. company. Yeah. I know you're going to have some crazy beats on that shit. All right, yeah, here's, yeah. here's a question then. So besides, outside of the Chicago and shit, who would you want to work with, like, mainstream and shit? Like, shit. any mainstream artists that you would want to lock in with? Rick Ross. Yeah, Drake, Wayne, motherfucker, who else? Uh, that's about it, shit. I fuck with FTO set, I fuck with uh, YTV Fats. Mm. Uh, I fuck with a couple motherfuckers. Yeah. It seems like everybody's tapping in with Fat. I be yeah. seeing, I seen you ride around to him and shit a couple of times. Yeah. I fuck with him. He relatable, like why you think so many people from Chicago fucking with him, heavy? Shit, what he be saying on this music? I think Memphis is something like Chicago, so I yeah. can relate to a lot of that shit. For sure. Like I was, uh, I was fucking with Dolph. I got a song with Dolph on my album. Word. Yeah, I was finna sign with Pre. It's not out yet. No. Oh word. I was fucking with Dolph hard. I was finna sign with him and shit right before that shit happened. Damn, Damn. that's crazy. How you and Young and Dolph even like getting? I into had him? DM the one day, you know. He responded back to me. We was talking and shit. He was like, I fuck with you. I was telling him, like, man, you a real nigga. Where we from? I came up listening to you. You know? Yeah. And he reached back. He does love, bro. That was motivation. He tell me, like, that was motivation. He hit me, send me his number, whatever. He, uh, I invited him to the A or whatever. He came to the A. Well, we like 10 cars deep, so man. Deep I'm in the front. Here. He following oh, us oh, all through that bitch. Bro. We go to the stool or whatever. I put him on that Rep Your Block remix. 
and it never came out yet, so it's going. No, I still, yeah, I got the song. Bro. I hard. got that shit cleared. All that lawyers, all that shit, everything. Ready to go, yeah, yeah. Whole ready. Team with them. Whole team, they fucking oh, with me too. Right. We love it. Ooh. Nah, that's hard. So like, when you think you gonna gear up the release? Like, what's the? Yeah, I'm waiting on my album. I'm trying to get all this shit together. Like, I I need better beats and shit, more beats. That's all. You know, I be that be my main. So I'm a dog with them beats. You yeah, know? now you got super good beat selection and shit. Yeah. Like I was giving you your props and shit before you came. Like musically and shit, I I'll say like you got the better music out of everybody. Like a lot of niggas in Chicago doing the drill shit. Like mm. you, you definitely can rap. I out rap a lot of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and I don't even be trying. That's just I go in that bitch, punch in and out, freestyle that shit. I go off what's going on around me at the time. We gotta see you and Dirk get back together though, man. We gotta see yeah, our collab or something. Hard. The people wanna see that, you feel me? For sure. That'll be hard. For sure. So uh thank you, Remo. He's sitting up there like a bad bitch with thank his Thank you, Remo. Up. You like that? Smoking a duck. Don't get too excited. A roach. Yeah. Keep your uh, about, keep your hands that. to yourself, bud. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. Remo boy, Mimo. Man. Star money, man. Star money. Enjoy Star money. money. Man. Tap in. Got a few albums out, man. Tammy World, man. Sliders. Then I just dropped another one, Lost Files. I got three albums I just dropped. Well, the last one, the EP. All right. I'm going to check those out. I go tap into that. Appreciate you guys. No Jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, etc. Oh, you be with them steppers, huh? Like, comment, subscribe. We out. Game, man. All right. Hey, yeah. And then you just... Just asked about the, uh, him and Dirk that checked that game bang out too. He just dropped a, uh, a single with him. Oh, yeah, game banger. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like I'm over here. I tap in for sure. Uh,